Alfred Nicholas Rambod. Alfred Nicholas Rambod, 2 July 1842 to November 1905, was a French historian. Life Alfred Nicholas Rambod was born in Besançon. After studying at the École Normale Supérieure, he completed his studies in Germany. He was one of the band of young scholars, among whom were also Ernest Lavis, Gabriel Monod and Gaston Paris, whose enthusiasm was aroused by the principles and organisation of scientific study as applied beyond the Rhine, and who were ready to devote themselves to their cherished plan of remodelling higher education in France. He was appointed Repetiteur Ecole des Hautes Études on its foundation in 1868. His researches were at that time directed towards the Byzantine period of the Middle Ages, and to this period were devoted the two theses which he composed for his doctorate in letters, De Byzantino Hippodromo et Sersense Bis Factionibus Revised in French for the Revue des Deux Mondes, under the title of Le Monde Byzantin, a sport et al Hippodrome, 1871, and El Empire Grec Ozi Cycle Constant in Porvogni, 1870. This latter work is still accepted as a good authority, and caused Rambaud to be hailed as a master in the Byzantine period but with the exception of one article on Dagenes at Cretus in the Revue des Deux Mondes, 1875, and one other on Michael Sellis in the Revue Historique Vol, Roman III, 1876, Rambaud's researches were diverted towards other parts of the East. The Franco Prussian board inspired him with the idea for some courses of lectures, which developed into books, La Domination Française en à la Magne, Les Français sur le Rhin, 1792-1804-1873, and à la Magne sous Napoléon I, 1804-1811-1874, he watched attentively the role played by Russia and soon observed how much to the interest of France the good entente with this power would be. He accordingly threw himself into the study of Russian history, staying in Russia in order to learn its language, institutions and customs. In 1874 he took part in the Third Archaeological Congress that was held in Kiev and wrote a report on it for the Revue des Deux Mondes. On his return, he published La Russie Peak, a study of the Dumas, Ukrainian epic songs, 1876, a short but excellent histoire de la Russie de Puis Les Origins, Jusqu'à Alain, 1877-1878, 5th ed, 1900, France et Russes, Moscow et Sevastopol, 1812, 1854, 1876, 2nd ed, 1881, and finally the two important volumes on Russian diplomatic history in the Recule des Instructions de Nez Ox Ambassadeurs Falls, Roman 7 and Roman 9, 1890 and 1891. He was not improbably moved by considerations of foreign policy to publish his Russes et Prussiens, Gerd de Sept and 1895, a popular work, though based on solid research. After teaching history in the faculties of Wojtzeck in 1871 and Nancy 1873, he was called to the Sorbonne 1883, where he was the first to occupy the chair of contemporary history. By this time, he had already entered into politics. He had been chef du cabinet of Jules Ferry 1879-1881, but this did not distract him from his literary work. It was under these conditions that he composed his Histoire de la Civilisation Française two vols, 1885-1887, 9th ed, 1901, and his Histoire de la Civilisation Contemporaine en France, 1888, new edition entirely revised, 1906, and undertook the general editorship of the Histoire Générale du Ave Cycle jusqu'à nos jours. The plan of this great work had been drawn up with the aid of Ernest Lavis, but the entire supervision of its execution was carried up by Rambaud. He contributed to it himself some interesting chapters on the history of the East, of which he had a thorough knowledge. In 1885, Rambaud published, in collaboration with J.B. Bale, a French translation of J.R. Seeley's Expansion of England, and in the preface he laid great emphasis on the enormous increase of power brought to England by the possession of her colonies, seeing in this a lesson for France. He was anxious to see the rise of a greater France and the model of Greater Britain, and it was with this idea that he undertook to present to the public a series of essays written by famous explorers or political men under the title of La France Coloniale Histoire, Géographie, Commerce 1886, 6th ed. 1893. Having become senator for the Department of Dubs 1895-1902, Rambaud held the position of Minister of Public Instruction from 29 April 1896 to 28 June 1898 and in their capacity endeavoured to carry on the educational work of Jules Fay, to whose memory he always remained faithful. He dedicated his former chief of book Jules Fay, 1903, which is a valuable testimony to the efforts made by France to organise public education and found a colonial empire, but this fidelity also won him some enemies who succeeded for some time in preventing him from becoming a member of the Institute. He was finally elected a member of the Académie des Sciences Morales et Politiques on 11 December 1897 in place of the Duc d'Ormel, of whose life he wrote an account vol, Roman 22, second series of the memoirs of this academy. His many interests ended by wearing out even his robust constitution, and he died at Paris in 1905.